Well, match five of the HBL PSL was a low scoring but thrilling affair in the end. It came down to the final ball, but it was the hometown heroes, the Multan Sultans, who were victorious over Islamabad United. They're undefeated thus far in this year's competition. And what a wonderful performance they put on for the home crowd. Do you know they love it? The atmosphere at the Multan Cricket Stadium was absolutely pumping tonight. And oh, Ali Tareen, the boss, he was, uh, he was a little worried for a while there, but fantastic to see the big man thrilled with the team's performance and heartbreak if you're an Islam Badge United fan tonight. Well, it's a very well welcome back to the Pitch Side Studio. We're going to unpack all of the action we just saw in Match 5 and we're absolutely thrilled to have you know, uh, one of the new ball bowlers for the Multan Sultans alongside us in David Willey and um, Bazi Khan, of course, as well. David, uh, another awesome win and, and a great performance by you with the ball. What did you make of what we just saw there? Yeah, look, I think, um, I think as a unit we bowled really well. Um, we did the basics well. The pitch wasn't true, um, so it was just about hammering a hard length for as long as possible and, you know, we managed to... Um, to keep down to we thought was a, a good score. Yeah. You're surprised with the amount of swing that you're getting? Normally, Multan, you don't get as much swing with the new ball. Even the day before, even today, new ball is going. Yeah, it was. I actually, um, you know, I didn't use that as probably as much as I could have. Um, I felt there was enough in the pitch just to slam a hard length straight. And, um, you know, all the bowlers tried to do that throughout the innings. And, um, yeah, we, we got our wickets and managed to keep the runs down. And the last winning moment, the run through, what was going through the mind? What was this discussion? before that particular delivery? Yeah, look, I think when it gets to that stage, you're going you're gonna to run whatever, so um, probably got a little tighter than would have liked, but um, you know, to get across the line is the most important thing. Yeah, having to do it with the bat in the end as well, but you've been such an integral part of the, the bowling unit. You're still the most successful power play bowler in the history of this format of the game. Were you aware of that particular I, stat? I, I wasn't, no. The, well, the analyst you told me um, yeah. um, earlier, and I was like, I'm sure that's wrong. <laughs> no, it's absolutely <laughs> not. And, you know, you do the damage once again in the first two games of the season. You know, what do you enjoy about the subcontinent conditions here in Pakistan specifically, and, and what changes with you and the way that you attack your innings? Yeah, look, I think, um, you know, I'm known to swing the ball so um, it's when and how I use that depending on the batter and, and which two are batting so um, I find it always swings in the subcontinent and if you hammer a hard length straight you can get your rewards. You weren't aware about this particular stat but were you aware about Alex Hales? There was a bit of a celebration when you got him out. Did you know that you got him out the sixth time or something like that was it? Yeah he's um is keeping me in a job, thankfully. So, um, yeah, hopefully Housie can keep playing and, and then I'll keep taking his wickets. So, um, no, he's a good guy. i um, obviously played a lot of cricket with him over the years and we have a bit of a laugh about it. And that's that as well. You were actually streets ahead of Bhuvaneshwar Kumar as well. So you've still got a little bit of leeway and obviously still plenty more years of cricket left as well. I wonder how far you can go, hey? <laughs> as we'll have a little look at the wicket, though, the, the one with, oh, the number five, the Alex Hales. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I had been told before the game that my stats against him at the minute are pretty good. Um, you know, he has got me a few times in the past, obviously he's a great player and, um, you know, I'm, I'm sure he'll hit me again at some stage. And they are a very stats-driven team, aren't they, the Sultans? Are you a bowler that enjoys those sorts of um, you know, bits of information? How much prep do you do personally? Do you kind of play, you know, each ball on its merit in the moment or are you someone who really studies up before you head out into a game? Uh, no, I think... You know, it's, it's useful to get some information on guys you don't know, um, particularly the local guys. Um, they're really good at delivering that information. So um, it's handy to get some little snippets. I'm not going to say too much, but um, I get some information that I like to have. Um, but then I try and do my thing. And, and as I touched on there, um, use a swing, swing when I feel it's necessary. We know when we're at the HBL PSL, there's an abundance of incredible fast bowlers on offer. And the likes of Abbas Afridi, well, he's, he's one of your Multan Sultan's teammates. What do you like about what he brings to the team and, and his particular action? Oh, look, I think the, the number of fast bowlers that come out of Pakistan is unbelievable. Um, some serious talents. Um, I was here a couple of years ago when Abbas and Ishanullah were um, the emerging players. And, you know, you saw then such raw talent. Um, that you know they've got so much to offer the game so it's great to see him doing well uh, mission is on the sidelines at the minute but hope to see him back as well soon and Mohammad ali as well he's um, more of a red ball bowler regarded as a very good red ball bowler but with the ball white ball he's got some skills yeah absolutely um i, I wouldn't have pigeonholed him pigeonholed <laughs> him as a, as a red ball bowler to be honest i think um you know his skills with the white ball are very good as well he's obviously got great control and um, I think a big part of the power play is, you know, making sure you've got control over that ball.
I was talking to Kath Dalton before, who's the fast bowling coach this season for the Sultans, and she said she's done a lot of work with Muhammad Ali across the, the last 10 days. What have you seen of what they've been working on and the kinds of conversations they've been having? Um, to be honest, I got in, I think, the day before the game, so I've not actually been at practice very much. So, um, no, look, he's obviously, a, you know, I, I still think um, a, lot of, a lot of cricket is... Um, your trades um, learn in the Red Bull game and he's obviously done that and controls his, his line and length exceptionally well. Why don't you take a little look at the pitch map of where you seem as a bowling during the power play because that seems to be a massive recipe for the success of the Sultans. Now, what can you tell us about what we're seeing on the screen at the moment here? Yeah, look, I think our group in there smashes. Tell us about what we're seeing on the screen at the moment here. Yeah, look, I think our group in there smashing, you know, probably six to eight metres pretty good. Um, and we're actually controlling line as well. I think, um, you know, generally we've been punished when we've missed the, the basics. It, you know, the game still comes down to doing the basics uh, well for a long period of time, especially when there's a little bit in the pitch. Just one final question here. Um, previous game, you had to bat first and did really well. Today you won the toss. Normally, is this venue is a bat first venue. But this time around, you won the toss and you bowl first. Interesting decision because normally you associate Multan Sultans wanting to put runs on the board. Yeah, look, I think um, you know we, we looked at the pitch there today and um, we, we probably weren't sure quite how it was going to behave and thought if we can, you know, go out there with the ball and, and, and bowl well and we get a good read on the pitch and um, they'll be under pressure to take our, our you know, what's a, a strong bowling side. Oh, big game again tomorrow. We've got to back up against the Calunders. I suppose we'd better say goodbye to you and let you go and get in an ice bath or whatever it is you do to recover. Get some sleep. <laughs> Golf. Uh, David <laughs> Willie, so appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Loved having you as part of the pitch side studio. But as we unpack everything that we saw today, I think it's high time, Baz, if we take a little look at the wickets that fell.